Praise God. Thank you. Man, you know, somebody say that I'm somebody in Jesus. I'm somebody in Jesus. Huh? Amen. You know, uh, I've heard this statement before where nobody or I'm nothing, but if you got Jesus, you're somebody in Him. Amen. If Jesus is in your life, the Holy Ghost is in your life, you're somebody. Amen. 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 We're somebody in Him tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, if my, if, if my word abides in you, and you're in Him. Yes, Amen. Lord. We ask what we will, we shall be done. This word is true to you. Trust in Him. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. We're looking forward for a good revival. Brother Young would kick down from yes. Tennessee. Yes. And his wife and family, his two little girls. Oh, I tell yes. you what, they're beautiful. Beautiful family. We thank God for yes. them. Brother yes. Timothy back there is going to be singing for us a little bit. And, uh, we're just uh, excited to, to hear. We know God is going to do this for a while. I want to ask anybody comfortable, anybody cold, or anybody too hot. I don't know. Lift your hands up. Too hot. Brother Randy usually lifts this one up, but it's hot or cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. Oh. We're looking for we have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to, uh, anybody else got a song testimony? We want you to go over the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Hallelujah. Well, I want to say that I love the Lord. I thank you for the praise you with the wall and the safety. No, truly, I've got a lot to be thankful for. I love all my heart. And y'all make it hard. Amen. Praise the Lord. Three days before we got the car, the Lord has fixed it. My husband said they felt like the three days was going to break the devil's back. Well, three days come, and on the third day, we must get a question. Well, God, this is the third day. What's happening? And God spoke to my husband and said, well, that ain't over with yet. <laughs> and that night, right before church in, the man stood up blessed and said, God told him to give it to us. And I just love him. Mm-hmm. And I can start this little bit of a because I went over about two or three weeks ago, my daughter had preached a message here. My daughter said we had preached a message. Yeah. And now the whole message, I got my little words stuck with me to this day. God will do what he said he would do. Yeah. And every time the enemy come at me and said, it's not going to happen, I said, there you a liar, because God will do what he said yeah. he would do. Yeah. Yes, and it's really been a blessing to our family. 
Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Look around. I want everybody to look at this way. It's a small, real big. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's try it one more time. That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. All right. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Brother Timothy, are you going to come and sing? All right. I need to eat. I need Michael to help me. Look at it. Brother Michael. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
say that you left me too long. He tried to ruin my life, my cold. Just remember to tell you, and you don't have a chance. But covered by the Christmas light of the Holy Land. Oh,
equal right. No one else. Would you stand with me, please? And let's welcome Brother uh, Earwood to come and minister what God has given him. I believe he's got a word from the Lord. Thank you. So, you away from the Lord and minister the gospel to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's uh, good to be here tonight. I feel like I'm at home. Feel like I'm at home. I appreciate every one of us. Love every one of us. Uh, it's good to see you again. It's been a few months since I've been up here. The last time we got here, there wasn't three of us. This time there's five of us. <laughs> and, uh, Bless the Lord. You know, Bless the Lord. After they come in our home, uh, the Lord started speaking to Betty and she started uh, putting words together. So that's one of the songs that she uh, wrote. Uh, said that she said she got on her knees and started praying. God just sent me to a home. Yeah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Love me and take care of me. So he did. We love him. We try our best to take care of him. And uh, Stephanie there, she's a, when she gets to know you, she's a regular clown. She just don't have her face on. And she keeps us alive. And, all the time we just sit around and most of the time, you know, just liking the things that she does and the things that she says. Amen. You know, life, uh, life the scripture says it's better than medicine, don't it? Amen. So, the Lord really put joy in her heart by sending them kids to us. And we've done a lot of praying and had everybody in the country praying for them. We had you guys praying and God heard and answered the prayer. Yeah, God. And you know, uh, last Saturday this week ago, three year old boy in our area, we've been in church with him lots of times. His grandpa was our pastor when we were going to uh, that church and uh, he fell in the pond, I mean in the swimming pool. Uh -huh. And he was in there for uh, about five minutes and he was completely in the deepest part right down in the bottom. My God. And the grandpa couldn't swim but he dove in to try to hit him and then his grandma had to rescue the grandpa and pull him to safety. And uh, his great grandpa, rather. And uh, so uh, we got to work. We started calling people. And we called you guys and told you to be a friend about it. <coughs> we put it on Miracle Valley Prayer Line, praying about it. So. The neighbor come, heard him screaming in the holler, come up there, run up there, and dove in there and got the little kid out, and got him out and done CPR on him. And, uh, of course, he was unconscious, and uh, they took him to the hospital, and he stayed unconscious. Of course, they kept him uh, today, he's there for about three days. And then they took him off from the life support and everything. And, and uh, the kid woke up just as normal as he could be. Amen. He went back home and he started talking to his grandpa again. He said, I want to get back in the pool. He said, I've got another toy that I want to get in there with. So, you know, just pray he don't get back in the pool without he's got somebody there that can watch him and take care of him. He slipped off that time and got in. They didn't know his grandma thought he was with the grandpa, and the grandpa thought he was with the grandma. And when he went to the house, why, 
they asked where he was at, and they said, well, I thought he was with you. So they started looking for him and found him in the swimming pool. So God survived him and brought him back. So God's still a miracle worker. Yes, he is. I was thinking about the things that God's been doing. I emailed Brother Michael uh, some of the stuff that we've been getting hold of, how that uh, a woman was reading her Bible. I won't testify just for a minute here before we start uh, getting into the Word. A woman was reading her Bible over in the ran or where was it? And her husband killed her and buried a small baby and uh, an eight year old in the sand and uh, buried the kids alive and uh, so about uh, 15 days later, I believe it was 15 days later, with Brother Mike, uh, I sent you the email on there. I don't remember what it was. Uh, anyway, uh, they, another one of the family members died, and uh, they went there. The, the husband told them, oh, that the uncle had killed the two small kids and uh, whenever they went there to bury another member of the family they found the two kids alive. So they asked the eight year old, uh, they was on a Muslim uh, TV station, uh, and a Muslim station and a Muslim woman interviewed the eight-year-old and after said, how did you survive? And she said, well, she said, uh, a man with a uh, white rope, a long white rope, with long hair, come and fed us every day, woke up my mother, to let the, the baby nurse every day. And said so he had nail scars in his hands. So the Muslim lady said, well, so it had to be Jesus that done that. So it gave them a problem over there trying to figure out what to do with that, with that testimony. And they said, the passion of Christ wasn't helping none at all going on over there since the show in that movie of Passion of Christ since it wasn't helping things at all. They didn't know what to do with it. So God is still God. Amen. He's still working miracles. Amen. And uh, so just there's another one that was uh, dead. <coughs> and God uh a man was, I mean, a woman was in the hospital, and the doctor said, hey, said, uh, your wife is dead. <coughs> so he went out uh, uh, checking out the neighbors and everything and trying to raise money to uh, bury the wife to have the funeral. And he went back to the hospital and his wife was up and putting her clothes in her suitcase. And he said, what's going on? And she said, well, I'm getting ready to go home. Said, uh, there was a, what you say, a man with, with a white robe. So the doctor with a white robe, I would come in here and told me to get up and I could go home and I was healed. There wasn't nothing to worry about. Wasn't nothing wrong with me. So it started the doctors and her husband. So she went not knowing a thing about Jesus. Never had seen him. Never had heard a word about him. But seen a picture of him. And said, there's the doctor. 
that told me that I was all right. So God is still God. He's still on the job. He's still doing the work that he said he would do. So, if you want to turn with me, well, you can turn with me tonight to the 7th chapter of Luke. It ain't no new message. It ain't no new word or nothing like that. I just got 1611 King version and uh, Bible, and, and uh, it's been here 2,000 years. Well, ever since 1611. So, you know, it's nothing new. So, just try to go with it. Now, I don't go for for a lot of them new ones. Yes. Because they, they took out the blood and everything else. And without the blood, there's no remission of sin. That's right. So, if you got your Bible and won't turn with us, why turn with us to the seventh chapter of Luke. It says, uh, who was he that entered all the things? Let's see. Let me read that one. Now, when he had ended all his things in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy of whom he should do this. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth this. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people, that followed him. I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. Amen. Let's just go to Lord in prayer right there. Yes. Just ask God to help me to minister the word that he'd have me to minister. Yes. Yes. Our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, yes. we come in agreement right now, Father Lord. That you will just speak the word, God, through me. Father, Lord, just let me deny myself and follow that you will use this clay, God, to speak the word. Father, Lord, that you will use this God to, for your glory. God, we just ask you, Father, that you will minister to us tonight. Follow with your word, God. And, Lord, that your anointing, God, will be upon us and follow with you, you the praise and the glory and honor, Father, for it all. In Jesus' holy name, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. In Jesus' name, thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And the second verse is, And a certain and seared servant who was not unto... Who was near unto him uh-huh. was sick and ready to die. Uh-huh. You know, oh, thank you, Jesus. 
I like it whenever the Lord says that you're healed and you don't have to die. I love it whenever God uh, tells us uh, uh, that we don't have to worry about the things that comes up in our way. Uh, uh, because the devil is going to tell you uh, uh, that you're going to die. You know, uh, uh, the devil, uh, uh, that's, uh, one time uh, uh, I had a truck wrecked, and I think I might have told this up here before, uh, uh, down in Dalton, Georgia. Uh, I was almost dead. Uh, uh, the doctors, uh, as a matter of fact, I even asked someone uh, at the wreck if I was still alive, if I was still in this world, or in the other world because I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see nobody. I, and I, I didn't know what way that I was. I, I, and the lady got killed that was uh, uh, was in the wreck with me. I, I got on a truck uh, and she got killed. Uh, and I found out that she was a good Christian woman uh, and she went on to be with the Lord. Uh, uh, but I uh, almost uh, I was uh, I ready to cross the other line. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, uh, the doctors were telling me uh, my wife and them, uh, uh, but I wouldn't probably wouldn't make it. Uh, uh, but I had the faith. Uh, uh, after I found out that I was still in this world, uh, I started to tell the doctor and everybody. Uh, I said, God has set before me a uh, door uh, uh, that I've got to run this race uh, uh, full speed ahead. I said, I've got to do this work. Uh, I told Betty, I said, uh, uh, God has uh, uh, put something on us uh, uh, that we've got to do. Uh, I said, we've got to minister to the people. Uh, and I told the doctor, uh, I said, Doc, I said, if you could play, uh, I found out he played piano. I said, you play uh, Amazing Grace, another song or two. Uh, I said, I believe I can preach a while. Uh, and he was uh, telling everybody uh, that I wasn't going to make it. Uh, but you know what? Uh, that was just a man talking. Uh, that was another man. Uh, Something, huh? Mark it down. Yeah, yeah. Do 
because he said it, it'll happen. It'll happen as sure as your name is what it is. I praise God because God is good. God is good all the time. I pray we may say, well, I don't know about this, I don't know about that. Uh, but I know that if he said it, uh, it shall happen. Uh, it will happen just like he said it would. Uh, praise God. Uh, I thank God uh, uh, for this brother here uh, 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 getting his uh, healing in the life revival that we were in up here. Uh, you know, God is still God. He's still God. I use that testimony in a lot of different places. The brother said that he... Last time I talked to him about it, he said he hadn't heard since then. God did it, not Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. See, God is still God. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I, I was sitting here the night there on the front there. And I felt a pain right in there in somebody's neck, and I believe God's going to heal that pain. It's just a pain that's about the size of an enemy finger, right in the side of your neck. I don't know who you are, but I believe God's going to heal you tonight. I believe you're going to be set free. I believe you're going to be delivered. I, I don't know what the pain is. I don't know what how bad it bothers you. I, I, but I just felt that pain. I, and I believe God is a God that is a God working the miracles. I, I believe He's the one that's going to deliver you tonight I, I, from that pain. I, I don't know what God has got in store for this revival. I, I, I believe He's got something I, I good and great for us I, if we'll only receive. We've got to be willing to receive what He says and what He wants to do. You know, Praise the Lord. You know, praise God. God is so good. All the time. All the time. All the time. He's good. I just pray because, you know, this man here, he was a, a ruler. He had, he had authority. He had men under him. And he'd say, Come and they'd come. He'd say go and they'd go. He'd say do this or do that and they would do this or do that. And the Lord is still doing the same thing and he said he would do this. He said he took stripes on your on his back for our healing. You know, he took thirty nine stripes on his back. Thirty nine major diseases in this land today. And God wants to heal every one of us. He took a stripe for every one of us. If they'd been 40 of them, he'd have took, he'd have took 40 stripes. But he said he took 40 like in one. So that means 39 stripes that he took on his back. For our healing. For our needs. For our trouble. For our headaches. For our pain. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Yes. For in my Father's house are many men. Yes, if it was not so, I would have told you. And I go and repair a place for you. For I am there you may be also. Yes. You know, that's a, that's a great promise for us. Yes. That's one of the greatest promises, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, that any of us could ever have. Uh, I'm thankful tonight to know that beyond there is a shadow of a doubt uh, uh, that one day after a while, uh, uh, whenever this life is over, I uh, uh, we want to have a life uh, uh, with a glorified body. Uh, uh, we want to have a body uh, uh, that won't never have no more pain, no more headaches, uh, uh, no more troubles, uh, uh, no more uh, uh, sorrow. Uh, uh, it will all be peace and joy. Uh, we can sit with a crystal boost and a crystal seat. Man. And that tree being yielded in its leaves for the healing of that nation. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That would be wonderful. Yes, it will. Just thank you. Just reach over and get hold of the leaf. Yank it up. It'd be the healing for that nation. Praise God. I'm thankful tonight. Praise God that I know that I'm a servant of God. 
that is able. Yes, amen. I may not be worthy for him to come under my roof. Come on. But he's willing. Thank you, Lord. To come under my roof. He's yes, willing. Amen. To yes. take care of me. Yes, and if we'll just only look to him. Amen. To offer an adventure of our faith. Yes. And say, Lord, have mercy on me. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Take care of me. God will do it. God will do it. I tell you what, I, I just praise God tonight to have a friend like Jesus. You know, if we've got him for our friend, we've got every friend, Brother Michael, that we'll ever need. Because he is a friend that will stick to us closer than a brother. He's a friend that will will feed you whenever you ain't got to die. Amen. Yes, he will. He's a friend that will heal you whenever you're sick and afflicted. Yes, amen. He's a friend that will raise you up whenever you don't think you can get it. Yes, he will. Greater is he that's in us than he is in the world. world. Amen. I praise him for that. I praise him tonight because I go to him and say, Lord, here I am. Here's my trouble. Here's my sorrow. Amen. Here's my headache. Yep. And he'll reach down and pick me up. Cast the cures over on me and he cures. Amen. He cures for you. All we've got to do is just let him know what our problem is. Amen. You know, he said he knows our heart's desire. He knows us before we ever ask. But he wants us to ask. Yes, he does. You know, a lot of times I've heard people say, well, I don't want to trouble him with this and trouble him with that. But he said for us to ask. And as Brother Mike read here a while ago, or coach your wall ago. If we'll only ask, he's willing to do it. He's willing he to take care of it. If we'll just confess it to him and say, Lord, here I am. You know, too many people today are carrying burdens on them. Brother Mike, if they don't need to carry, all they've got to do yep, is just say, Lord, here it is. Just here it is, God. I need you to lift this up off of me. And the Lord is willing to reach down and pick it up. And to take it off from us. I praise Him tonight for that. Because I tell you what, God is so good. He is so wonderful. He's a peacemaker. He's a way maker to to all of our troubles yes, and our, our worries. Yes. You know, let you know, we don't even need to worry about nothing. Because if we worry, we're doing wrong. He tells us in his word, let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Don't let these problems that the devil throw at us worry us. Yes. Because all we've got to do is say, Lord, here it is. Here it is, God. And let the Lord take it in His own hands. Cast the cures over on Him for He cures for it. I'm thankful tonight that I can go to Him. I know that i got a friend that I can go to no matter what time, day or night. Amen. And say, Lord, here. I want you to take this. Yes. Just tell him what it is. Yes. Amen. And the Lord will take it from you. Yes, he will. He will deliver you from it. Yes, he will. You know, let's turn over to the 15th chapter of St. John. Thank you. 